konnichiwa well hi guys so i'm back again here with another video for you guys i'm actually outside heading to get some aloe vera and some avocado for a deep conditioning treatment that i'll be doing for you guys today i'm going to show you how i prepare it so it's a diy avocado deep conditioner yeah so basically i'm a country girl so I live in the country and I have a lot of fruit trees and stuff at my yard. So that's actually where I'm heading to go and get some aloe vera. I'm just going to cut it. And yeah, you guys can just follow behind me while I do that. Alright, so I have arrived in the bushes, right? So this is basically where... How come I was like literally swiping and switching between lenses and now I can't do that? Anyways, guys, this is our beloved aloe vera plant. Okay, this, this is the holy grail, this is the gem, this is it, and this is what I'm going to cut from and then get some, get the, the boat rolling, you know. Yes, like I said, live in the bush. Real country girl. So, now I want you guys to even get some footage. <gasps> Anyways, um, yeah. So, I don't want to take any other babies, but I don't want anything too big. Because it hurts me every time I'm supposed to put it, you know. Because I know, ugh, anyways, we do what we gotta do. Oopsie daisy. There we go. So, I just killed the plant, but it's okay, it's for greater good. I think this is a great one. So now we're heading to go get the avocado, a pear as we call it. Um, my dad has like a crate, so I'm just going to go roll up the crate and get me some avocado and some pears to make the deep condition. So yeah, just watch me while I walk past all this bush. I'm gonna mind now, like a country girl, like a real country girl. And the birds are out. Is the great avocado? Yeah, don't take out one. I need one that's like really overripe. So one that you probably not go on. This seems like a really good pick. So yeah, avocado. <laughs> Yeah, so you saw us go and get the aloe vera and the avocado. So now it's time to actually put it into something that we can use. Alright, so we're just going to peel the sides of the aloe vera. I don't think I need all of this. Maybe I should. Typically, I don't need all of this. I'll go up to right here so I peel then I try to take off the skin of this one I see some people that just cough in but that's not what I'm trying to do here I'm trying to actually go under the skin as you can see and take off the skin so now we're at the end and we're gonna just remove that. Now, if I was on camera, I'd literally just rub this on my face. That's what I normally do. Because it's great for your skin. And yeah. So that's what we're gonna do. So this is Oh, 
<laughs> Yo, why are you being like this? I go, you don't catch yourself on YouTube and I watch. And I think you go away and start trying to learn and figure out how to edit it out. Anyway, so yes, that was my ending. Oh, miss, fail. Yeah, so we dropped that thing. We'll continue go through and scrape out all the way. And yes, it does have a smell. It gives you one green smell. Like, you know, if somebody green, yeah, this, this is the green that you're talking about. So we we'll just go through and let's try scrape out everything. No, I'm not cute and put together like some people. This is just me. I don't know why I have the situation right now because it's slimy. And it's a lot to manage. So, aloe vera. In container. So, let's see, we have that amount. And just going to scoop on the next side. This thing is like the worst to manipulate. The worst! Sorry. Oh, baby. Give me one more. I can love you. Alright. Yo. No wonder this has been like this hidden secret to some extent because why would you want to interact with this? I watched a show um, last night where the man was literally in a desert. It was, you know, excess and he needed to survive because it's a dry place and he was actually eating aloe vera because of the fact that it is so nutritious. I will actually break that down for you guys and just give you some insight as to why it's so great. Um, it has a ton load of vitamins. When I say a ton load, I mean a ton load. It has a lot of enzymes, it has anti-inflammatory inflammatory properties, as I said, which helps with the cleansing of the scalp, preventing any form of fungi or anything that might develop on your scalp. And it has a lot of water, which is really good for us natural systems because we need that moisture. So that's really good for us. And yeah, it's it has amino acids too, guys. Oh my god. The amino acids is actually, you know, filling blocks that we need to create new hair cells and stuff like let's just go on that. And so now we're going into avocado. We have an over at avocado here, and this is actually a great thing as well it has like vitamin a vitamin c vitamin d vitamin e vitamin k b6 b5 it's like it has a whole host of stuff so don't sleep on your avocado guys and just quick fact i didn't used to eat avocado actually don't still don't like it that much i forced myself to eat it but my hair was eating it long before i was eating it which I think is a really good decision on my part. So even though I don't like it, I used to try and, you know, put things in it. So we're just going to scoop this out and just drop it in here as well. And this can get messy, guys. So no matter to get a pretty girl to get it on, right? It's worth it, but it's a whole mess, like I said. So we're just going to scoop that in. Drop it in, drop it in. I don't know, I feel like, do I need all of this? I'm going to try this vitamin C preservation thing, so I'll probably put some lime juice in there and try and freeze it. So I'm just going to use the entire thing and then we just try some preservation strategies. Yeah, so we're scooping in, we're scooping this out. Um, we're just gonna drop that in. Voila! I feel like a five-year-old 
but it's okay because I got great hair. No. Never okay. Yeah, so we're just cleaning this up. And then I have two brands of cooking oil here, right? Any one of them can use, yes, they're what we cook with, what we actually cook with. They can be used, you know, don't think that getting coconut oil is so stressful because it's not. So I'm going to use this one because it's already cold, but I feel like this one is better because it's 100% natural coconut oil. So I'm going to use this one and I'm just going to pour some in there. That's good. In case you haven't noticed, I'm really a cut water. That's important. So. Bring it up to that because I don't really want it to be too watery. So about this one, use your hand, guys. So about this, then I just need to put this on. Like I said, yes, I'm a klutz. Okay, don't worry about it. You know those Reggae Hill girls? And you see them shaking and they're like, I am your sweet, sweet, sweet bartender, Connie. And you just shake, 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 shake. That's what we're going here. So, yeah. We're just put this in. Processor, a juice maker, that's what this is, and then 
wait, wait for the big reveal, the big reveal. There we go. Now, I know some people might look at this. Does that feel some feelings for my clients? Chemical reaction, maybe? Yeah, so let's look at this. Some people might be really, you know, turned off by this. But, like I said, good hair. Maybe put the good hair back up. So, thank you for the good hair. I'm gonna just throw this all so you guys can see the consistency that I'm working with. This is basically like a cream that you buy without the weird, the weird green color. And basically, that's your DIY avocado deep conditioner. So. Certified clumsy. But yeah, that's it. This is literally all it takes to make your own deep conditioner. Now, in another video, I'm going to actually show you guys how I use this in my hair and the process, the routine. You know, like a typical deep treatment wash day routine. But that's if you guys want to see that. Like, no, no one for that too. Alright, so. We're gonna do that. So yeah, that's it. So um thanks for kicking it with me for another video. And I just hope that I was able to teach you guys something. So just a quick run through before I wrap up. Um avocado, aloe vera, coconut oil, water, aqua, agua, aqua, agua, agua, right? Really great. Um, combination for a deep treatment do it yourself really quick really fast and your hair will love you for it it will thank you your hair deserve your love or your care you know and your care is self-care duh so it's very good to do that and like i said i was going to run through the benefits with you guys like i'm a complete nerd to the point where i have a whole conference right here that i researched the things them so you know, like, I'm gonna just dare the things like them. I know what I'm do. And, um, or at least I'm trying to figure it out as I go along. So, alright. The new trends of the avocados and aloe vera as I'm gonna like to know where. The benefits of the avocado include, right, folate. So, they're a great source of folate. I'm gonna put this on the screen for you guys, alright? So, it's a great source of nutrients, including folate. Magnesium, potassium, riboflavin, which is basically vitamin B2. It has niacin, vitamin B3. Um, it has pantothenic acid, vitamin B5, vitamin C, B6, as I was telling you, EK. And it also has fiber and fats, guys. As we know, avocado is a great source of the healthy fats. And aloe vera is when I tell you, enzymes, right? I won't even get into the chemistry because I don't think you guys are really here for that. It has minerals, vitamins, sugars, which actually is really important for your hair. And others, such as, as I said, it provides 20 of the 22 required amino acids. Guys, get you some out of there. All right, so, um, yeah, and it possesses anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties. And it's actually great as a sense of skin. So that's just basically it. So like, yeah. Thank you guys for kicking with me and coming to see another episode with me while I talk about hair. So yadi hair care. That's what we'll be doing here for a while. And yeah, fun, what would come be safe. See you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>